welcome to Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. Uh, today we've got for you an English blend that we're trying, and this mm -hmm. is New Minster's English Luxus. Now, English Luxus is made by, actually made by the McBaron Company, mm. um, and uh, it is an English. Uh, it's made of Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, Perique, and Virginia. Now, it says that there's no flavorings added, but I'm a little suspicious yeah. of that, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. It's a coarse cut. You can get this in a bulk blend. Uh, it's made in Denmark, of course, uh, because McBaron. And uh, you can get it at smokingpipes.com and any other place that sells Newminster products. Uh, the strength on this is about a moderate. The flavoring is mild. And the uh, uh, room note and taste we'll talk about as we go along. But All right, let's jump right into this on the tin note. What do you think about tin note? Well, I really thought it would be a lot more Latakia forward. Uh, it's it's it smells very sweet, almost to the point where I think it's an aromatic, not as much as an English. Uh, you know, with a name like English Luxus, I really thought there would be a lot more Latakia. I taste it. I don't really smell it in the tin note. I get that brown sugary sweetness from the Cavendish, and uh, almost v vanilla too. Yeah, very vanilla. Yeah, I get a vanilla scent from maybe from the Cavendish. Um, I, I get nuttiness from mm -hmm. the, from the burleys. Kind of, there's a mustiness and there's a little bit of hay and earth smell to it. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I don't get a whole lot of of lot of Kia on this one. Yeah, I really. It's interesting. It's it's a pretty pretty uh, mild, uh, uh, pleasant mm -hmm. uh, tin note to this one. Yeah, very pleasant. Do you get anything else from it? I don't get any earthiness from the Virginias in it. I don't get any nuttiness or anything. I really just get a lot of sweetness from it. You don't get that nuttiness in there? Not really. It's not as present. It, let me, it's let almost me like a molasses. It. In yeah, there. yeah. It's it's almost like the, the, the level of sweetness that I smell from the jar is overpowering anything else that I would be getting in it. And maybe it's just my sniffer's broken, but... I well, really this one gets this one has a whole lot of different tobaccos in it. Uh, in the description on mm -hmm. tobacco reviews, it says it's got flu cured African Virginias, black Cavendish, Mexican Burleys, and uh, Cyprian Latakia. So that's kind of the mix in there. So yeah, you know, so for a, all of those t tobaccos to be in there, you know, I, I get a little bit of the Burley and I get a little bit of the Cavendish. Not so much a, a touch of the Virginia, but not so much of the Latakia at all. So, and that's interesting. All right, well, let's jump into the taste. What do you think? The taste is interesting. That's where I get more of the Latakia. That's where I get some of the smoky, earthy flavors coming through, is in the taste and the smoke of the actual tobacco itself. I get a little bit of... of um, a spiciness yeah in the background yeah. there uh and i think this all yeah this has perique in it as well so, yeah that's where so we're getting the spice we're, from we might be getting that the, uh, the perique also kind of provides a little bit of a dark fruit taste to it as well kind of like get, a raisin flavor i get a little bit of that but the, this you're right the smokiness starts to come out a little bit in the taste in the taste uh, a kind of a woodsy and an yeah. earthy taste to it yeah. yeah but let me tell you I think this has a topping because I do get a vanilla taste yeah. in here. Yeah, that's or, that's or caramel or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but there's there's something in here. Yeah, there's something there's so there, I really feel like there's a topping for it to smell that strong in the jar, and then actually taste it into the smoke. They have to they have to have done a topping of some type. Yeah, yeah. Um, you in the smoke in the in the in the smoking of it you do get all of those tobaccos to start coming through. I get a little bit of the, the nuttiness from the Burley. I get a little bit of the sweetness from the Cavendish, uh, the Virginias. Um, it, it, so it's really cool that they've got a blend that you can have all those tastes to it. I, I'm not too sure I enjoy the spiciness of it. Uh, I, I, yeah, there is quite a bit of spice I coming through I think the spice is kind of... Uh, fighting 
with the sweetness of the mm-hmm. of the Cavendish of uh, that vanilla taste, you know. It, yeah, and not so, in a good way. Yeah, it's it's kind of buzzing a little bit. Yeah, it'd be different there. putting like a cinnamon flavor in there as a spice factor to the vanilla brown sugar taste that we're getting instead of like the perique spice that we're getting yeah. which is like pepper. You know, as you as you get farther down into the smoke um the the to me the burley comes out a little bit more mm-hmm. um and uh the the latakia diminishes a little bit mm-hmm. and the burley comes out a little bit more so it's it's and it's an interesting kind of smoke as it progresses through through the through the bowl yeah it's 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 interesting i like i i, I kind of like it um I, I don't care for the spiciness of it yeah i say yeah i get I, I really, now that you're talking about the spice, I really get a lot of that spice coming through as well. Yeah. Which, it, it, yeah, it just doesn't complement the rest of the, the flavors from the Cavendish and the Latakia. Because Cavendish and Latakia tend to go together very well, in my opinion. I've had tons of English aromatics that I just enjoy. And uh, the, the Perique spice... I don't know what type of perique they use, but it is a very peppery one. Yeah, it's got it's got pep, some pepper to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, interesting. Okay, so what are you thinking about the room note? I'm having a hard time on this because I still get the room note is where you get more of the Latakia smell, but but I, I it smells very pleasant. It, it smells sweet coming through almost like cotton candies kind of in the air you know how when you go to a carnival and you smell the hot sugar cotton candy that's right. just in the air right that's what i'm getting with this is that hot sugar cotton candy kind of smell in the room note i definitely think it is a very pleasant uh room note uh and even with that hint of lot of kia that's there i still think a lot of people even if they're not smokers are going to find the smell pleasant. the room notes what leads me to believe that there's definitely some sort of a topping mm-hmm. on it because what you smell, what you taste, also mm-hmm. what you get in the room note as well. And um, it's stronger than anything else to me. The room note has this sweetness to it, this uh, kind of a vanilla, yeah. uh, vanilla, creamy sweetness to it. And um, to me, that's kind of the pr- predominant scent yeah. that we get, almost like a, a vanilla candle of yeah. some sort. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, so that that's what leads me to believe that this actually does have some sort of a topping in there. It's a, it's a pleasant uh, yeah room note. I think it is a pleasant one. Yeah, uh, there's definitely a, some good smells in the air that are interesting to smoke. It's just it's really I really would think that there would be. Is this classified as an English blend or an English aromatic? English blend. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they call it. But you know, sometimes. Companies don't disclose everything that's in in their blends. Yeah, you know, and so uh, we'll talk about it in a second. But this one has actually been compared to Frog Morton, uh, and uh, I wish I I wish I had tried Frog Morton before. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's kind of got you know a hint of that aromatic in it a little yeah. bit, but but they don't disclose any of that, so. It's, it's it's difficult to really put your finger on it. Yeah. Uh, what do you, the moisture level? What do you think about that moisture level? Mm. I mean, you had said it before we even cracked the jar open. Well, this has been sitting there for six, six months. months, and it's still yeah. kind of moist. Yeah, it's still moist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not it's it's not bad. I don't think the the moisture level that it's at right now, I don't think is unmanageable uh, by any means. But uh, I tend to like my tobaccos a little bit on the dry me too. side. Just, just easier, easier to smoke. Yeah, and I think it it does something to the, to the uh, the Latakia and the Burleys a little bit mm-hmm. to change the flavor profile, mm-hmm. <coughs> where some of those those flavors that, the dampness kind of muddles, you get a little bit, yep. a bit a little bit cleaner tastes on those. So yep. I tend so to me it's a little too damp, and uh, to me it needs dry time for sure. Before you smoke it, absolutely. What do you think about the nicotine on this one? Uh, this one's about a moderate nicotine hit. Um, I, I would even go mild on it too, because it's just it's the nicotine hit isn't very hard, but the perique lets you know it's there. The burly that's in it lets you know it's there. Yeah. So it, it is it is a decent 
hit. Yeah, I'm with you on that. The moderate is about where I would call it too. Um, but I've been sm smoking Burleys all day long. Yeah. And so you know, uh, I, I. Uh, Anything that's not compared, a Burley <laughs> compared to those, yeah, the, this doesn't have any kind of a nicotine content to it. So, yeah, it's it's pretty moderate. Mm -hmm. It's it's not going to punch you in the face for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, a couple of things that I've noticed on this blend, guys, is that if, you, if you're if you not careful with this, it can bite you, uh, particularly because of the, the moisture, moisture content. Level. Yeah. Uh, that really doesn't get harsh. There are a few rough edges on this one. Okay. Um, it burns fairly cool, fairly clean. Uh, it's, to me, so far, the... the, the the taste has been consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, all I way, think so too. Yeah, all the way through it. It does leave a little bit of moisture in the bowl. Uh, it re requires a few relights. Uh, it's got a short but pleasant aftertaste. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm going through right now. I still, the thing is, is I still have some of that pepper. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because I'm smoking it out of a cob. Or if it's because, you know, because sometimes briars tend to cool the smoke, I think, a little better than a cob. And I just had a, a good amount of pepper and heat coming through. Well, I'm getting that same thing. So yeah. I don't think it's the, the pipe. I think, you, I think you're That's getting the it tobacco because of tobacco. Itself. Yeah. 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 It's got some pepper to it. And it's really, it's not unpleasant, but I am still feeling like just the little dots on my tongue of where the pepper was really hitting it. That I can, I get the nice long aftertaste, but I still taste that. I, I could see where this could be an all day smoke. I could too. For someone, um, it's it's an English, but it's got, it's on the sweeter side. So mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm hesitant to call it a an aromatic English, but uh, it's definitely an English on the sweeter side. Um, Burley is the is the pronounced flavors that I get from this one. Um, with a little bit of that perique kind of showing yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, perique is really yeah. there. Uh, I it, it might age well. It might round out a little bit yeah. by aging it. Yeah, and maybe that's what I'm waiting on is just a little more depth from some of the flavors that are in there because they all seem so hyper. If you get what I'm saying, they're all, it's just, there's so much coming into my mouth at once and they're kind of all over my tongue Yeah, that it's nice, but I really want things to just like, yeah, kind of mellow out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, it, 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 to me, it does need some time. Yeah. It does need a little bit of time. Uh, okay. Well, you can get this in bulk guys and it comes out to about $2 and 43 cents an ounce. Price is really good on it. Yeah. Um, you know that's that's a that's a really good bulk price. I got this from Smoking Pipes. Um, is it only in bulk? Yeah, you can only get this in bulk. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, but there's a lot of guys. You know, I, I've watched all my Facebook groups and and all the the Instagram uh, uh, things that have been posted. Mm -hmm. And this is a popular one out there. This is this is one that a lot of guys go out there and smoke. Uh, so if you're interested. Maybe uh, trying something a little bit on the sweet side if you're an English smoker or yeah. if you're uh, a Virginia or a Burley smoker that wants to kind of touch into the English side. This is probably a way to go. Yeah, this because, is a good one. Because uh, uh, it's the Burleys are kind of full in there and the Perique kind of shows out yeah. a little bit. So. Yeah, the Perique really shines in this one, but not to an overwhelming amount. The lot of Kios are not overwhelming at all, mm -hmm. at all. So th it's not going to be a lat bomb. It's not going to be something that you're going to... Uh, cringe when you smoke if you've never smoked english blends before this is pr probably one to, to try yeah absolutely all right well what are your thoughts what are you going to give it uh i think i'm going to stick with the solid three on this one uh it's pretty good smoke i just the the periques that came through really how strong and how forward the periques were compared to the rest of the tobacco that i was tasting on it just it threw me off for a loop, and it's it's almost the reason I want to give it a three is because I don't understand it as much as I want to. Yeah, maybe putting some age on it and smoking it several times. That's that's yeah. Will kind of kind of give give you a better idea of what you're going to get. From yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Because right now I'm smoking it, but I, if any of y'all have kids, you'll understand. It's like talking to a five year old. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just doesn't. There's, there's so much there, and you want to be a part of it, but it's just not in order. And that's kind of what I want. I want it to mature a little and really try to get to enjoy it from beginning to end. 
there are some some um, other blends that are English aromatics that are very similar to this. I'm thinking um, predominantly in the Sutliff mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. uh, East Farthing is similar to this one. Um, there's uh, Lord Nelson that's also a bulk blend for Sutliff that, mm. that this one is similar to, except this one has a little more sting to it yeah. from the Periques. And f because of that, I think I'm just going to give it a two and a half. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm, so we're I'm not, I'm not really uh, keen on it. Yeah, yeah. Too much pepper. Too much pepper for me. Maybe pressing it, too. We have that presser. Maybe we could press some of it and see. Because sometimes when we press out the tobacco, it kind of cuts the curve off. Uh, we'll little. see. Uh, it, it, might, it might end up in the press to kind of see what it what Just it will what it do. can do. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see. Awesome. So round up, round down. I don't know. I, I think it's. It, I think it's a solid tobacco. Uh, I think a lot of people out there does do, do like, like it, it and would like it if they haven't tried it. So I would say round it up. Round up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can All right. Do that. So for Newminster English Luxes, which is made by McBaron, so you're basically getting a, a McBaron blend for you know budget price. Yeah, cheaper than what McBaron normally sells yeah, their stuff it's at. Really, I mean, it's really already a pretty. It's well really priced. pretty, pretty uh, good pricing for that. So yeah, we give that a three. All right. Well, you got anything you want to share with everyone? Uh, guys, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to re-catch up on uh, our world, uh, getting some videos together for the winter season. As you, uh, a lot of people can tell, we're kind of focusing on those good – what's a good one? Some good comfort blends is kind of what we're working on. Big, thick, hearty smokes, and that's just kind of how we feel that we like to smoke in the winter. So yeah. maybe put in the comments some stuff that you guys like to smoke in the winter, and maybe it's a little different than us. Maybe it's a vapor blend, and tell us why. Get in touch with us. We yeah. want to know. Maybe we can get some and try it. And, yeah, and, and put it on agree the, or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah, we'd like to share that with everyone. All right. Well, guys, we do appreciate you. We thank you so much for everything that you're uh, sending us, uh, comments and suggestions and um, uh, suggestions on different blends, yeah. things like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we are trying to jump in. If there's so much out there, my goodness. They keep uh, coming up with new stuff, too. Well, yeah. I mean, and there's just so much out there. Like, I just bought from uh, Smoking Pipes uh, about a week ago. All the Captain Earls. Yeah. Every 10. I'm of, wanting to try all of them, too. We'll and now one. we're trying to trudge through all the Captain <laughs> Earls, which are real big Latakia smokes. Uh, but they're good. Yeah. So far, the one that I've tried is just a really good yeah. level of Latakia. Uh, and we're, we're just trying to figure out if there's any of those that we want to kind of share with you during this yep. time, too. And Christmas is coming up, so we'll have yep. to, we'll have to uh, do a Christmas blend. Pretty, coming up pretty quick. I think I got one in mind. Yeah? Or a couple. Well, at least one. Yeah. At least one. Thanks a lot, guys. We do appreciate you. And don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.